Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Let's talk about free body diagrams. This is something that's going to be important when we analyze force problems. And the idea with a free body diagram is very simple. The first step is make the object of interest into a dot. And the second is identify the forces acting on it. All right, so let's see if we can do that for a very simple example. Let's say that we have a box hanging from a wire. And so here is our box. It's hanging from a wire. That's it. Okay? The object of interest is our box. So we're going to make that into a dot. What are the forces that are acting on my box? What's one of the forces that's acting on the box? Christian, I know you have a thought there. Uh, um, so you have gravity, so the mass of the object. Okay, we have gravity. And gravity is, in fact, equal to mg, right? All right, what else do we have acting on? Yeah, Christian? Tension in the wire. Tension in the wire. Which way is tension in the wire going? Upwards. Upwards. Okay. Now, if the box is at rest, then I want to draw my two arrows to have the exact same magnitude. And if they have the same magnitude, then they're going to perfectly cancel out, and there's going to be no acceleration of the box up or down. So whenever you draw force diagrams and your object is at rest, try to draw those arrows the same length. This will help you visualize it. All right, let's make it a little more complicated now. Let's hang it from two wires. And let's say that it looks like this. Now I need to draw my free body diagram for that box. I still have F gravity going down. But how should I draw the tension in the wires? What do you think, Samantha? Half the magnitude of the, the line for the gravity. Okay, half the magnitude of that, maybe. Should I draw it like this? No. No, you don't like that. All right, how should I draw it? To the sides. To the sides. Okay, like that? Um, at, at an angle. Okay, I'm not following directions very well. Am I? <laughs> okay, at an angle. Any particular angle you like? Um, like the one in the original problem? Like that one? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe something like that. Okay? Tension has to act along the wire, right? If you pull on something, the tension has to act directly along that wire. So that looks pretty good. Now, do I think that these arrows are about the right length? What do you think? Have I drawn those arrows about the right length? Yeah. Maybe, right? They're certainly not half of gravity, but they can't be half of gravity because they're at some angle. What we want to know is, is the vertical component of tension going to be enough to combat gravity? And so that's the section that has to be half the length, which means that this section has to be longer than that. All right, let me ask you a follow-up question. Let's say we hang our box from two wires, like so. What are the forces 
that are acting on the wire? Well, it's still gravity going down. But now tension, we said, is along the direction of the wire. So we need tension in this direction, and we need tension in that direction. And now let me ask you a question. Can these wires be horizontal? In other words, you have a wire going from one side of your dorm room to the other, and you're going to hang your physics textbook on that wire and do something with that. I'm going to shoot darts at it. Right. Sean, what do you think? Can these wires be horizontal? I don't think so because there's no force to counteract the downward force of gravity. That's right. If the tension here is perfectly horizontal, we've got a problem, right? We can't make the net force here equal to zero. We don't have anything to combat gravity. And so the answer is no. That wire cannot be horizontal. And in fact, it can't be horizontal no matter what the tension is in the wire. So even if I take a giant steel cable and I crank on it at one end with a winch, and now I hang something like a textbook on it, it sags a little bit. Okay? Not a lot, but a little bit. It cannot stay perfectly horizontal. You have to have some angle associated with it, which gives you a slight vertical component of the force. It's kind of weird to think about, right? I mean, you think about those giant cables that are holding up the Golden Gate Bridge, right? Those things are pretty big. But if you stand at one end of those cables and look along the cable, it sags. It certainly sags. It always sags a little bit. OK. Any questions about the stuff that we've talked about so far? Anything else that you guys want to talk about before we uh, call it quits for today? OK. Hopefully this stuff is clear. Uh, certainly, if it's not, come see me in office hours. Cheers. What do you guys think? Fantastic. All right. Kind of, kind of fun being in the